Um, it's not a hard song. The right hand is going to be difficult for you for a while, but uh, you can get over that. What you need to do is learn, I think, one, two, three, maybe there are four chords in there, about four chords. And I have those in the email. You need to put the capo on the third fret. And you know how to tune the guitar. It goes E, A, D, G, B, E. So that's from low to high, E, A, D, G, B, E. You find tons of that information on the internet. Uh, a capo on the third again, <clears throat> and then you make the chords as if the capo was the bottom of the guitar. So an A minor, you'll end up playing that as the first chord, is just shaped like this. It's better for you to look online or the email picture I'm gonna send you on how to make an E minor. And then it's a fairly percussive song, so you have to figure out what to do with your right hand because that's where your percussion's gonna come from. Right now, because you're just learning how to play the guitar, you just need to focus on creating the chords, all right? So, okay. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about these chords in a second. And it's nice, the song starts out kind of just using the chords fairly lightly and slowly. Uh-oh, I'm running out of breath, but I, oh, I, I got stamina. hit the guitar with your finger every so often to get some percussion. Don't worry about creating the song right now as much as just creating the chords. So let me tell you a couple things about the chords. A minor, it's very common, it's played the same way all the time. But there are a couple of chords that aren't played the same way. The charts I'll give you have uh, this F in there. You have to put your finger all the way across the guitar and put the rest of the shape of the strings um, in your other fingers. It's going to be hard for you to do that. So you can play an F another way, which is to press both of the highest two strings with your pointy finger and then put the rest of your fingers down on the chord structure uh, like this. But even that's a hard chord. F is a hard chord because you have to get your finger to cross multiple strings. So that's going to be your hardest chord. The only other one I want to mention is G because the G chord can be played many, many ways. And the easiest way to play it is with your pinky on the third fret, that's counting from the capo, on the third fret of the highest string, and then your, your ring finger on the third fret of the lowest string. And it's, it's only a nice chord if you're not playing the second string, the A string, because if you play that, you're missing a note. But you can do that in this song, you can say, uh-oh, hang on, uh-oh, there's the G, and I'm only playing these two notes, I'm just playing the bottom on the third fret, and the highest string on the third fret, and I'm just plucking basically the low string and the higher strings, so I'll put my right hand in the video here, uh-oh, Eventually you'll strum those chords uh, like I'm free to be the greatest here tonight. I'm free to be the greatest I'm alive. Um, but that'll come later. And you can use a pick or you can use your fingers. I'm using my fingers. But let's talk about that after you get the beginning of the song, which just again is four chords. Uh oh, I'm running out of breath, but I I, I, I got stamina. Da, da. All right, Annika, I look forward to hearing you play it. Talk to you soon.